New tonight, shocking testimony and brand new information released in court today in the case against the 13 year old boy who admitted shooting and injuring a seventh grader and a teacher at Noblesville West Middle School in May. His mother even testified and police showed a video with a message the boy recorded hours before the shooting. Throughout today's testimony, we are learning more about what may have led that teenager to open fire in his classroom. And this just in a portion of the statement released by the teen accused of shooting teacher Jason Seaman and seventh grader Ella Whistler. He says, quote, what happened on May 25th was a tragedy, and if I could, I would take it all back. I'm sorry to all of the people I scared and hurt. I feel so bad for what I put you through, and I wish it would have never happened. I am so sorry to Ella and Mr. Seaman. He goes on to address each of the victims individually, expressing his sorrow. You can read his entire statement now on the RTV6 app and on our website. Now we do want to get to RTV6's Rafael Sanchez, live at the Hamilton County County Courthouse in Noblesville. Rafael, a lot of new information coming to light in court today. Amanda and Mark, good evening. A lot of new information five months after that tragedy here in Noblesville. But first, let me start with the survivors. Ella Whistler did not want to be here in the courtroom, so she sent her mother instead. And we found out new information about Ella. She is positive, she is strong, but she is still undergoing some counseling and also undergoing some physical therapy. Her mom let the court know that she still has nerve damage to her right arm. It's been very difficult for her, and there are still many sleepless nights. The teacher, Jason Seaman, he still has a bullet lodged in his hip. He asked for the teenage suspect to be removed from society until he is 100% better. Noblesville Middle School teacher Jason Seaman let his testimony speak for itself, making no comments after facing his teenage attacker. The prosecution says the 13-year-old's craving for violence led to his actions. The night before the shooting, the teen looked up on the internet the blueprints for Noblesville Middle School West, and he also recorded a video on his iPod in which he said he was ready to go while holding a weapon. He admitted that he wanted to take other people's lives and bragged it will be all over the news. Uh, so what's next in this case? We're expected to be back here next Wednesday at 9 o'clock. As for the 13-year-old, there are two possible outcomes. The prosecution wants to send him, send him to the Department of Correction, either at Logansport or at Pendleton, where they have juvenile programs. The defense wants to send him to a private facility in Dyer, which is in northern Indiana, about two hours away. The judge may make a decision on that, Mark and Amanda, next Wednesday at 9 o'clock. We're live tonight in Noblesville. Rafael Sanchez. RTV6.